Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm Leon with No More Lines. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, leave a like and a comment, and watch the video to the very end. So recently I was asked, is it just easier to just change the region on your Xbox console? And while that may seem tempting, this short video is going to just prove why that's not a good idea. So, uh, if you look at the page I'm on, I actually looked up from the Xbox website how to change your region on your Xbox console. Pretty straightforward. Uh, if you see here, it says step three. Uh, you're going to basically go into your profile and change the region of language and location. And you're going to have to restart your console. And then from there, it's going to actually update to the region that you set it as. But one of the biggest, biggest caveats here is that if you see this section here, it says conditions that can pre prevent you from changing your country or region. If you're prevented from changing the country or region of, for your Xbox, it may be for one of the following reasons. You change country regions within the last three months. So that right there is the icing on the cake. This is why you, you don't want to do it. Because if you change your region, you're not going to be able to change it back for a total of three months. The VPN method that I've been showing in these videos is much simpler as far as uh, using different regions. You don't have to change anything on your console. Uh, for subscriptions such as Xbox Live, Game Pass, Ultimate, and Game Pass, the code is activated uh, for the region that you uh, have it for. So, for example, uh, an Argentinian uh, Xbox Game Pass Ultimate code, it's locked for Argentina, but it actually is a global code. So once you activate it, the service is going to work on any region that you have. Now, with games, I've shown this before, but the caveat is that the game will not automatically add to your account when you redeem it from a different region. What you have to do is you have to go into your at your local uh, Microsoft store on your console and you have to find the game and you have to add it manually. When you add it manually, it's going to basically add it to your account. So uh, those are the caveats. I've gone over this before, but I just wanted to make this cool a quick video. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, uh, leave a like and a comment and have a blessed day. You take care.